The average man is 1 meter 78 inches tall and weighs 86 kilos. But compared to the people we'll be showing you in this video, these values will seem ridiculous. Today, we're going to introduce you to the most astonishing giants in history, real giants who caused a sensation wherever they went. You'll also learn how these giants used their enormous size to their advantage. Let's start our video with a real giant who actually used the word giant in his pseudonym. Born in France in 1946, André René Roussimoff made a name for himself as a wrestler in the late 1960s. At an incredible 2 meters 24 and weighing 240 kilos, he was heralded in the ring as the eighth wonder of the world and was a formidable opponent, facing wrestling legends such as Hulk Hogan or the equally giant King Kong Bundy. Maligned by others as a child because his chin and forehead had grown disproportionately large, giving him a very unusual appearance, Andre nevertheless made the most of his physical attributes and even found himself in the Guinness Book of Records in 1974 as the world's highest paid wrestler. He also worked as an actor, playing Bigfoot in the TV series The Six Million Dollar Man and the giant Fezzik in the fantasy film The Princess Bride. Andre the Giant suffered from his unusual height and weight. Reaching such gigantic proportions was due to a developmental disorder. Andre constantly struggled with severe back pain. His ankles barely supported his weight, and he had to undergo repeated operations. He tried to alleviate his pain with large quantities of alcohol, and it is said that at one point he drank up to 14 bottles of wine in a row. In 1993, at the age of just 46, the giant finally died of heart failure. His body had to be transported to the United States for cremation, as there were no crematoria large enough in France. Let's continue with a man who was nicknamed the Gentle Giant, and who officially remains the tallest man who ever lived. American Robert Wadlow was a 2 meter 72 giant, almost as tall as the 3 meter diving board at the swimming pool. Robert was born in 1918. At just four years of age, he was already 1 meter 63, and by the age of eight, he was taller than his father, who was still 1 meter 82. This enormous growth, due to a brain tumor, caused many problems in the American's daily life. He couldn't fit in anywhere, and all clothes and shoes had to be made to measure. The bones in his legs were also damaged by his rapid growth. He had to wear metal splints and usually used a cane to walk. Nevertheless, Robert tried to do his best in life. As a teenager, he joined various organizations and took part in campaigns for diversity and humanity. Faced with the fact that everyone stared at him wherever he appeared, he simply replied with humor, I'm above it all. It was only when a doctor publicly referred to him as an anomaly that he took legal action to recover damages. Robert Wadlow's physical size was matched only by his ambitions. Although he had received numerous offers from circuses to appear as a giant, he was diligent at school and wanted instead to become a lawyer. With great effort, Robert managed to start studying law. Sadly, however, he never became a lawyer because at just 22, he died of an infection caused by a faulty ankle brace. Over 10,000 people attended the funeral of this young man, who was always kind to everyone to say goodbye. Let's turn now to a giant who used his immense size and strength to earn a living in what are known as circus freak shows. Canadian Edouard Beaupre, who lived from 1880 to 1904, was also one of the tallest people of all time, measuring 2 meters 52. In addition to his incredible size, the giant of Willow Bunch, named after his hometown, possessed immense strength. Edward had problems at school, but that didn't stop him from doing remarkable things. For example, at the age of just 17, he publicly lifted a horse weighing 400. Wanting to become a professional cowboy one day, he worked on a farm in his teens. However, when, at the age of 21, he reached a weight of around 170 kilos and was still growing, he was forced to bury this dream and began traveling around the country with a circus in which people watched him in awe and where he showed off his immense strength in performances during competitions. The Willow Bunch Giant later died of tuberculosis at the age of just 23. The following giant is still alive today. Sultan Kozin is currently the world's tallest man at 2 meters 51. Born in 1982, this Turk grew normally until the age of 10. 
A tumor, however, caused him to grow abnormally until he reached gigantic proportions. Sultan is unable to work or even live a normal life, although he desperately wants to. He has to overcome many challenges in his daily life. For example, he can't walk without crutches or get into any kind of car, and he needs tailor-made clothes and shoes. He was also bullied at school and for a long time had trouble finding a soulmate. But he did have a happy ending. In 2013, Sultan Kosin married Merva Debo, a Syrian woman 80 centimeters shorter than him, who loves him just as he is. China's Zhan Shichai is an example of how you can use your gigantic size to earn money and still live a normal life. Born in 1847, this man quickly realized that he could turn his 2 meters 44 into money and toured all over Europe, the United States and Australia under the name Chang the Chinese Giant. He earned a handsome salary thanks to the thousands of people who wanted to see a giant like him in the flesh. He also took advantage of these tours to pursue his studies and learn several languages. Meanwhile, he married and had two children. At almost 30, John Chichai had earned enough money to retire. He opened a Chinese tea house and lived a happy life until his death at around 50. Leonid Stadnik's life was very different. The Ukrainian entered the Guinness Book of Records in 2008 as the world's tallest living man, standing at 2 meters 57 and wearing size 68 shoes. Although he made a few public appearances as a giant, two other things were clearly more important to him, animals and his family. So he didn't make much of his size, working instead as a veterinary surgeon in the Ukraine. To enable him to drive to appointments, the Ukrainian president gave him a specially modified car. When his father died, Leonid Stadnik gave up his work as a vet and moved to his mother's farm to help out. Finally, we come to the so-called giants of Patagonia, whose existence is now disputed by scientists. In the 16th century, explorers such as Magellan reported encounters with a type of human giant in Patagonia, a region in the south of America. They were said to be twice the size of normal Spaniards. The Patagonian giants are said to wear only animal skins and to hunt with bows and arrows. They are generally described as primitive but friendly Stone Age people. Magellan even captured some of them to take to Spain, but they died on the way. When the English privateer Sir Francis Drake visited Patagonia over 60 years later, he also reported the presence of giant men. Subsequent explorers described them as significantly smaller, but still around two meters tall, taller than average. If you liked this video about history's most astonishing giants, leave a like and subscribe to our channel.